super quick. I came home and I had two book boxes that arrived. I just finished my shift a little early. It is Labor Day and I just want to unbox these. So we're going to do this super quick because I, one, did not know that I got a special Midnight Sun box because I didn't order that. I mean, I ordered a, like three month trial of this. But I didn't know it. that got me a special Spearcraft box. And then my September Unplugged box came. So this I'm really excited about. But first, because I'm most curious about like this guy, let's get into it. I don't even have my copies of Twilight anymore. So this should be interesting. So this is the August 2020 Spearcraft book box, Eternal Twilight Midnight Sun. And I think it's all Midnight Sun stuff, which is weird because I don't know what to do with it because I don't want to read the book. So I guess we'll just figure that out later. This is a bookish pillowcase and I am all for bookish pillowcases. Says Team Jacob. And you have Team Edward. I love this. This I love. I think I'm gonna like the things in the box. I'm just gonna be like, I don't want this book because I got rid of my copies of Twilight something in my mascara I completely I like really quickly put something on my face so I don't scare you anyway but I feel like Twilight was a moment and I loved it and I've never read it again I've watched the movies of course but I know that it will not be the same so I don't I've just I've had that moment I will remember that moment fondly and I've moved on uh, there's a really cool candle that has like rose petals in it and it's got this really sweet lid. Hopefully y'all can see that. There are socks, it looks like right here. Do they always do socks? So like, this is a new box for me. So, oh, cool, they say Team Cullen. And it looks like they're long, stripey socks. I like that. But anyway, so this is my second box from Spearcraft, and last time I got socks, so I wonder if they always do socks. Which I'm not mad about, because I love Soft. This looks like it's going to be a Twilight bookish tote. It is. So we get Edward and Bella. And we've got the whole Cullen family. Hopefully you can actually see this because when I hold it in front of me, I can't see anything. Like I see straight through it, but the Cullen family and Jacob and Rensme. That's why I didn't think that looked like Edward. It was too, you know, has blood in his veins. We've got a bookmark that's double-sided. This is your Cullen and Volturi inspired bookmark and art print. There's also an art print that looks the same. Rosalie's baseball socks in black and white. They're so cute. There's also a pan. Yeah, and so now I have a copy of Midnight Sun, but I no longer have copies of Twilight, so I just feel like this is very strange. Or I feel like the universe wants me to just read this book. But like, I don't know if I want to read this book. So like, I just find this box very confusing because it is a really, really, really awesome collection of goodies. And it's a signed copy of Midnight Sun. Um, so this is a really awesome collection of goodies for something I'm not sure I want to read. And I question the whole like cover art, like why this like vaguely sexual pomegranate? Anyway, the goodies, awesome. Love the goodies. This, didn't need in my life. These, I do need in my life. So that was an unexpected, I was just expecting a regular book box, like not normally, with all my other bookish box, with, then they're like dedicated to one specific book like this, or like a fandom. You you buy it specially, like the blood and honey boxes that people were doing and stuff like that. So I'm just still confused about this. But it's okay, we're moving on. Unplugged box time. And this month is reinvention. And if you've never seen an unplugged box, let me tell you what it's about. This is mostly self-care stuff and you get a YA book. Um, everything is like a consumable, which I, I like, so it's all stuff you can use. It's not just tchotchkes. 
and I'm off for that. I love this box. I think they work with a lot of like Etsy shops and small sellers. So we have Bella and Edward Pomegranate Cider Shampoo. Interesting. So this is from the Fairy Hideout, and it's a little shampoo. I'm scared because I have colored hair. That might rip all the color out of my hair. This is Fur Haven, the Dark Dark Wood Magic Fallen Apples. What is this from? She is the storm that tears away roofs and knocks over trees. I don't know this one. Winter Wood. Yeah, I haven't read Winter Wood. Ooh. Okay, but so there's the key, the candle. But then, isn't that pretty? I hope that you can see this in all of its like shiny, glittery goodness. And I like that it's not a wood wick because I love the sound of wood wicks, but I just don't think that they burn appropriately. It bothers me. <gasps> Poet X Apple Lip Scrub. Yes, I can't find my lip scrub. This makes me happy. If I can get it out of this container. How did you get it in the container? Like how, how did they get it in here? It's like giving birth to lip scrub. Maybe if I just, I just threw it across the room. So it's Poet X inspired lip scrub. I love it. I don't know why I'm shaking it at you, but it's apple lip scrub. Let's take a little smell. It smells like apple, like actual apple, not fake apple. It's good. And that is from Angela Taylor Crafts. Oh, there's a Sailor Moon bath bomb. Bath bomb, not bath bomb, bath bomb. I don't have a bathtub I can use any of these bath bombs in, but one day I will get a bathtub back and I will take the best baths ever. Now, what are you? Oh, this is like a whole tapestry. That's a whole got at ass tapestry that says Tales are, hold on. Fairy tales are more than true, not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us dragons can be beaten, Neil Gaiman. Oh, this is really cool, I'm gonna have to put this up. There's a really cool dragon, and it's got different books on it, like A Court of Mist and Fury, and I think I saw Catcher in the Rye somewhere. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the tapestry, but Mockingbird, kill a Mockingbird. This was really cool. That's cool. I like that. What are they calling this? Bookish picnic bat blanket. Bookish picnic blanket. Say that five times fast. Bookish picnic blanket. Bookish picnic bat. No. Tapestry. And it's by Abby Malagar. Malaga. Abby Malaga Art. Abby Malaga Art. Next month is gonna be Rage. Oh, and they have this cozy autumn box, but like I had to save some money, so I only ordered the blanket that's in the box. So I got lots of goodies I gotta get through. And so there is a book, and it does come with a little note from the author. And here's our book in this really great Halloween purple, witchy purple. I do like witchy purple. Oh yes! I've been seeing this going around and I wanted to read it. This makes me happy. So this was um, Grown, which they did a really beautiful like book tour, PR tour, like on Instagram. I don't know why I just keep saying like. I mostly can't with life anymore. Yeah, it doesn't look signed and I don't have a signed book plate, but I do have a note from the author. It just looked like this really cool YA own voices story. It says, when an enchanted Jones wakes with blood on her hands and zero memory of the previous night, no one, the police and Corey's fans included, has more questions than she does. All she really knows is that this isn't how things are supposed to be. Corey was enchanted's ticket to stardom. I don't want to read any more. This is going to go in my spooky books for October. Oh, this was good. This one was good. I enjoyed most of the goodies. This I don't care about, but the goodies are amazing. Like amazing. So yeah, I'm 
a shower and have a cup of tea and get to bed and clean up this mess I just made all over my space before my boyfriend comes home and is like, why are you now? So, um, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I know it was a little weird and unprompted, impromptu, unprompted, oh God, impromptu little unboxing, head to head unboxing kind of thing. Um, but, uh, I make unboxing videos when I feel like it. I vlog at least once a week. So um, my writing and my reading and just a day in my life, a week in my life, whatever I feel like doing. Um, right now I've been a little overwhelmed so we've just been doing a, a day in my life uh, each week. If you want to like this, if you want to see more, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below which box you think was better. Um, and do you, what did you think of Midnight Sun? One of those questions. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.